What is going on? Today we are going to talk about amlodipine. Okay, amlodipine, its trade name is Norvasc. This is a medication that can be given quite often for patients who have hypertension or angina. Okay, so that's going to be our indication for it is if a patient has hypertension or if a patient has angina, it can be added on with other medications or it can be given alone to try to treat and control the hypertension. Okay, so what kind of medication is it? Well, its pharmacologic class is a calcium channel blocker. Therapeutic class is antihypertensive. So just by saying that alone, you ought to have this really figured out. So amlodipine, so the PINE, there's multiple calcium channel blockers that are the end of the PINE, okay? So when you see PINE on several medications, that's going to be an indication of it being a calcium channel blocker. All right, so what, what do calcium channel blockers do? What it's going to do is it's blocking that transport of calcium into, into the muscle cells. And what that does is it inhibits uh, excitation and contraction. And so, you know, our, our, our vessels are lined with muscle. And so if we block the calcium, the transport of calcium into those muscle cells, we're inhibiting that Uh, contraction, okay? So we're not allowing the vessels to contract and to squeeze, and that's going to cause the vasodilation, or it's going to inhibit the vasoconstriction, and that's going to help to control the hypertension, okay? So that's what amlodipine is really going to do. So that's why we're giving it, that's how it's going to help as a calcium channel blocker by inhibiting that contraction and that constriction of those vessels, okay? Thereby helping with the angina and also helping with the hypertension. Okay, so some things we need to keep in mind and we need to teach our patients about this is we need to teach them that this can cause gingival hyperplasia. So they need to assess their gums and practice good gum care and oral care. Uh, grapefruit juice, juice may increase the drug level. So like many medications, once a patient gets older uh, and they start taking multiple medications, it's a really good idea that they just not drink grapefruit juice because it's going to really interact with many medications. And so instead of even trying to keep it straight or to teach your patients which medications interact with grapefruit juice, it's a good idea just to tell them not to take it at all. So the patient needs to monitor blood pressure and pulse prior to and during therapy. So if you're giving this to a patient in the hospital, really good idea, and I I urge you and I kind of plead with you to check your patient's blood pressure before you give any sort of hypertension medications. As the patient is sick, uh, their blood pressure may vary or things change very quickly in the hospital from moment to moment even. And so it's a really good idea to monitor your patient's blood pressure before therapy. Now, I'm not talking like, let's say you have a Let's say you have an 11 o'clock medication and your patient care tech took the the blood pressure at 8 o'clock. You need to recheck that blood pressure, okay? A three-hour window is enough time for dramatic changes to occur in blood pressure. So you need to check your patient's blood pressure within minutes of giving these types of medications. You need to monitor the patient's intake and outtake, assess for signs of uh, CHF, and assess characteristics of angina. What is the pain? What's the characteristic of it? When does it occur? How is it occurring? And is this helping? Instruct the patient uh, of interventions for hypertension how to take blood pressure. So they really need to know when they're at home, how are they going to take their blood pressure, and what are the kind of the steps for taking blood pressure so that they can kind of keep a running total of their blood pressure and when they're taking their medication so they can take that to their doctor. And then, you know, the physician can really assess how is the medication working. All right, guys, that's amlodipine. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast, brought to you by medmastercourse.com and nrsng.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to Medmaster Course. Medmaster Course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology, never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com, coupon code PODCAST. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.